Hey there everybody, Anwaro7 here. I got with you today a issue with template, uh, pages templates that I've had. Uh, recently I started writing for streaminglivecademy.com, which I invite you to come check it out, a link in the description. There's other stuff for like how to begin streaming, how to become better at streaming, and just video game releases. For example, my article is the video game releases for July 2020. And honestly, I like to play all kinds of games. So if you wanna talk about a specific game, more than likely I've played it, except Animal Crossing and stuff like that, or like Farmville. Uh, but anyway guys, uh, jumping into the video today, on pages there's this issue, and to give you a heads up, I'm not a professional, so if you are and you know a better way of doing this, please share with all of us in the comment section below. But after about two hours of trying to figure out how to fix it, uh, my wife and I were able to. Uh, actually, I did two hours alone, and then she came, and then within 15 minutes we figured it out. But anyway, uh, let's get down to this. So when it comes to the template, if you're making an article like mine, mine is on uh, video game releases. I just gave the classical newsletter uh, format from Pages. And on Mac and iOS and iPad OS, I'll show you, but first I'm going to show you on Mac OS what I'm trying to talk about here. So. This document right here has its pages and whatnot. You see 11 pages. If I want another page, I just go to add page. And you know, yada yada ba ba. I just keep going, copy paste stuff if I need to edit anything. And this is more of my mind, my mindset on things, uh, on how to work. So definitely it will be different for you. And by the way, I've been messing around with this thing so much to prepare for this video that this thing, 10 out of, out of 11, trust me, that shouldn't happen to you but if you keep doing what i'm doing in this video switching back and forth your document it will happen besides that go to a new one you're like i'm gonna write my classical newsletter right here we go this is it everything's gonna be as simple i'm new to this i'm a noob and so let's do it you're gonna be like okay what is this this is just latin that's what happens with pages it's just randomized letters and whatnot so you just you edit the text how you want it hi how you doing whatnot it can be like uh, words of the day Stuff like that, right? So if you have all that set up, it doesn't matter. And so let's say this, you did all this and you're like, you know what? I wanna add something else. I wanna add a text column or something. Let's add a text box uh, right here. And you're like, okay, I need another page cause this is all full. So uh, can, I, can I go down? And you're like, okay. Um, if you're like me, by the way, this is more how I see a document should be created. You wanna, you wanna go to the third page, but you can't. So you're like, okay. Maybe it's not there. Uh, let's open up. Oh, and then boom, I don't know where you're like, you let it go and boom, you get your third page. So you're like, okay, that's nice. That's nice. Let's uh, let's grab this and go down and go to a third page. And you're like, third page is gone. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put it back where it was because that worked and you're like, okay, I'm here. Oh, I'm smart. So I'm just gonna create another text box and bada beam, bada boom, you have your third page, you're done, easy peasy, right? Uh, that to me, honestly, is an automated simplicity system that is too simple. And it actually became a hassle, a hurdle to me. Uh, when you go to page thumbnails, by the way, this is the way I thought it should work. I should be able to open page thumbnails and be like, okay, I want, uh, this format is really nice. So I wanna make a second, secondary page. I don't want to make another main page. I want to grab a secondary and do that one. And to show better off my example, let's get rid of this box over here and let's get rid of this box over here. So you're supposed to only have two pages, right? At this point, let's say you haven't done that other trickery because you don't want to start from scratch. You literally want to copy paste whatever they provided or you have created right from scratch. Uh, you're like, okay, I just want to copy paste it, man. You don't want to go and do all this, right? Like, okay, I'm going to copy, paste everything. Oh, wait, you can't paste it. Let's paste it right on top of it. Can I drag it? No, you can't. Like, see, it's way too messy. And so you say, I just want to add one. There's no add function. Where's my add function? Hello? Uh, you can't. So you're like, okay, I guess I can just copy. Uh, let's paste it. Uh, can you paste it? Yes, you can paste it. Problem is, you just paste it too and you're like, I don't want this one. I want to delete number three because it's a main headline. I don't want it. I don't want to delete all of this and then add stuff into it. Uh, I just want to keep going with my mental flow of one by one. Just boop, 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 get them done. You know, one, two, three, four, five, as many pages as you need. Mine over here has 11. And so you'll go over here and you're like, then you realize that when you go to cut, are you sure you want to remove these pages from your document? The section containing pages three and four will be removed. You're like, that's, I don't want to delete three and four. I want to delete just three because I don't need it. And so 
you realize you can't. You're stuck out of luck because pages is, in my opinion, overly simplifying the process. Oh, well, no, overly automating the process and taking away your free ability, your ability to freely edit your document. And so you're stuck there and you're going to figure out ways to f you fit the process of the, the, the document editor. But there's an easy way here. Here's the fix that I couldn't find out anywhere. Besides some in the Apple books, uh, I actually read almost the entirety of the pages manual that Apple provides. And trust me, it's a long read. But you even then I couldn't find out until I found these two words, which was enough that I could research into it. And then I was able to figure it out, narrow it down, go to file. And you're going to convert your current document, which is a word processing document, which I'm not a nerd, like tech nerd when it comes to like a document writing lingo. Uh, if you talk to me about processors, GPUs, all this stuff, bit rates, all, I don't know, I'll get it done. But when it comes to documents, I'm a newbie. So if you know, please educate us. And you can hit me up on nworld 7 all links in the description on social medias and in the comment section in this chat and this video. But here you're going to convert to page layout. And are you sure you want to convert you? It sounds scarier than it is, at least when it comes to this classical newsletter. If you've done already a lot, the fix, honestly, that's what happened to me. The fix took a while to, to get around it. But converting will remove the document body, including body text and inline objects. And then you just convert it. It will erase these text boxes. Honestly, I don't remember why. I think it's because they're just text, probably not even a text box. Probably they're just text written down there. Because now it's sort of a... Uh, the best way I can describe it is a drag and drop object based um, document file, like type of um, what you call it in format. And therefore, you can't just put text wherever you like it, you know, start typing and things will move along with it because that's what word processing does as your the text pushes everything away and sort of leads the way. But when it goes to page layout, sort of the objects are the primary uh, objective. And so, but here's the advantage, at least in my mind and how things should work on the program. Now I have the add page button lit up. I can finally add a page. Let's say, uh, let's go back to, let's delete these, for example. Actually, we can just go back real quick with the command Z, which amazing. Uh, I love how you can do this. Um, by the way, so right here, as you noticed, I just reverted back to a word processing by holding command C and just back stepping up to that step. Uh, and so I can't add a page. And remember, if you want to duplicate, you have to duplicate the whole thing and it's messy. So go to file, convert a page layout, convert, accept the consequences, you lose all that text. But now you're free to add a page any way you want, however you want. And now I can just drag my objects here and there and that and it will keep up with the letters, like numbering. So that was page one, this is two, and that's three. Uh, and then that's it. Try to avoid going back to word processing at all costs. Um, if there's an efficient way, again, please share with us. And if you're liking this tutorial, and it's just this, honestly, to me, if I were to show you this, that if I were to looking at a YouTube video and they showed me this, that'd be all I need because all I needed was to be able to freely add as many pages as I darn felt like it. Because to me, it's like, I want the canvas and then I want to put the objects in it. I don't want some system to dictate where the objects will go. Of course, this has fitting and uh, it'll push some text away as you're crop enhancing your image. But to me, the most important part was the text around the images, not the other way around. And so anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I mean, that's the fix I was looking for. And I hope uh, if you've, this has helped you, uh, let me know and hit the button with the red big subscribe plus the like and the bell activated. So you get notified whenever I release new videos like these or Apple Arcade or Xbox Game Pass challenges every quest, I mean, of the week. Uh, but to keep going further, like as I said, I'm going to show you how it works on iOS because that's where it's the most complicated. That's where I'm like, Okay, guys, someone at Apple, get this fixed. So let's go to iOS. On iOS, when you go to templates, right, you're going to create a new one and you're going to do the same thing, classic newsletter. So on classic newsletter over here, you're going to have your document ready to go. And you're going to realize that on the top right, there's an eye with a piece of paper. 
And over there, that's the new thing, by the way, this is the latest summer update 2020 uh, pages uh, update that came out after WWDC 2020. Uh, so the prior version did not have this differentiation between edit and uh, just looking. Uh, that was such a messy thing that I'm glad they added it. It's, it's useful as heck. So you go to edit and there you go. You have your pages and then you can add with a plus button. You can add all the elements you need for your document uh, presentation newsletter. And you're like, okay, that's cool. That's good. Where do I add a page? I want to do the same thing I did on my Mac and I want to add a page. I want the canvas. I just want to draw and go at it. You can't by default again. This is, I open this as a new document. So I'm going to show you how it's done. Open the three buttons, which is over the options menu. Go to first navigator, turn on navigator. And then in document setup, you're going to go down and you're going to see document body. Funny thing is right now it's a word processing document. You're going to tap document body and it's going to warn you as it did on the Mac convert to page layout, blah, blah, blah. You might lose this or that. You will lose the text again like we did on the original document. You're free now. That's a page layout document. Now you're free to do just as much editing as you did on the computer, right? On the Mac. And the navigator that I activated, as you noticed, it says page one of two on the bottom. That little thing is different, not just in color, but also compared to the top one that says two pages. If I tap the one on the top, it just says words, paragraphs, character with spaces, and so on and so forth. That one is not what you need whenever you want to add a page. You can't do it from there. Even though they both pretty much say the same thing, it just one says the total amount of pages and the other one says which page out of which page you're on. So tap the one with the bottom one, the navigator, and bada beam, bada boom, there it is. The plus button is activated and you can just add a page. And also the same restraints come in here. If you were not if this were to be, let me convert it. We're gonna convert it back, which I told you not to, but we're doing it for the sake of science. Convert it back to word processing, and then you tap that navigator, you can't have the plus button anymore. It's not there, and uh, if you turn on or off the navigator, I mean, you can't even access this page. I feel like navigator should be turned on by default or implemented into the corner one. But anyway, over here, if I wanna copy anything or duplicate, you're going to have to duplicate each page. Sometimes, honestly, after you go to, um, once you convert it to a page layout, it'll like unbind them and separate them. So you do have that advantage, but usually you will not be able to um, be able to duplicate just one specific page if you haven't done the page layout conversion. Let me show you on Mac real quick too. Uh, I mean, sorry, on iPad OS. Over here, as you can see, iPad OS, same thing, the, the UI and whatnot. We're gonna actually going to go open up a new template so I can show you how you can do the same changes on iPad OS. They're practically the same. It's just minor uh, things here and there with the optimization for the bigger screen and whatnot. So on templates, there it is, classic newsletter. And as we go in, you will have the same limitations as we did before. Uh, I recommend tapping on the top left, right next to documents, page thumbnails, activate that. And of course, the cool thing about uh, on iPad, you can do two pages, which is actually quite useful when editing these kinds of documents. But anyway, we don't have a plus button on the bottom left corner. And in order to activate that, we need to go into document setup. And again, same as iOS, document body, which I feel like it should have a different description. Something about it just doesn't tickle me right. And then we're gonna do the conversion. And there you go. Now we have a plus button on the bottom and we can add as many pages as we like. These have been unbinded, so therefore we can duplicate individual documents or actually multiple ones as we feel like it, depending on our article and writing needs. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'm not a professional on this, so if there is a better way or there's an actual professional workflow reason why this is the way it is, please share it with us. Um, I just don't know, honestly, why they would do it this way. Uh, and then of course you can add your stuff and whatnot and it's as simple as that also uh, just remember uh, turn on the navigator and whatnot in order to be doing that on iOS and that's pretty much it for today for me uh, I hope you, this helps you build your newsletters for iOS and iPad OS and Mac OS and if you have any further questions let me know on the social medias again all in the description and visit streaminglifeacademy.com to be able to read these articles and let me know what you think about my writing anyway oh by the way 
on Twitch every day of the week except Tuesdays. I do streaming, so you can come out and hang out. Honestly, I stream whatever like we're up to and talk about this kind of stuff. If you have questions and you want live support, I can help you on the stream too. Uh, but anyway, I'm in World 7. Appreciate your time, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.